The envelope and offset property box allows you to change the characteristic of an instrument in unique ways. Here you can alter the attack, decay, hold, and release of the selected instrument so that it better fits in your mix, or to create new and interesting sounds. There's near infinite ways to use these controls to shape sounds, but the following examples will show a few common uses. The attack portion of the envelope can be used as an alternative to EQ or compression to soften sounds. This is done by adjusting the attack back in time so that the first few milliseconds of a sound are faded rather than starting immediately. This has the effect of mellowing out a sound, which could open more drum possibilities for different styles of music. For example, the Yamaha kit is a very punchy rock kit, and it could easily be tamed for other styles of music with the envelope control. Here I have a slow ballad type of groove, and I can soften the attack on both the kick and the snare to make this drum kit sound more appropriate for the groove. I could also bind the attack anchor point to a macro to automate its effect. This, in combination with the smoothing property box, could create an exaggerated washed out cymbal swell effect. One example for the release control of the envelope is to reduce the resonance of drums, which can be especially useful for faster tempos. The offset can be used creatively to chop off the beginning of a sound or to delay the instrument. This can be especially useful when stacking, as it can create a thicker, somewhat looser beat. In this example, I have the Bell Toms preset loaded from Superior Drummer 3. Here, the stacked electronic snare has its offset adjusted to a negative value so that it blends cohesively with the kit snare. I'll then add two claps to the snare stack and delay them each by a different amount to create a thicker and looser sound. The envelope and offset property box is just one of the many ways that Superior Drummer 3 allows you to craft the perfect drum sound.